Hello Poppets. Good afternoon legends and welcome to a very sunny, springy, blue sky, warm Ibiza. On January 29th. It is wonderful in Ibiza right now. Apologies, but not sorry. Today, as you will have seen from the title and the thumbnail, it's exciting uh, life updates <laughs> here. Life update. They're kind of doing a bit of like a, well, an, a cross island COVID check. Mass testing. Uh, mass testing, that's the words I was looking for. It is our little town's turn to um, head to the local sports centre. And we're going to get tested for antibodies. Place your bets now. Are either of us positive? <gasps> oh no, what if we are? But I think we also find out if we've been positive at any time as it's well, right? It's an antibody test. So yeah, it'll tell you whether you've been, you've had the antibodies in the past, which is an indicator that you've probably had coronavirus in the past because your body has clearly fought it by creating said antibodies. Thank you, Professor Tiffler. <laughs> That's quite interesting. We'll take you along, sort of show you what the process looks like. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed it all goes well. Uh, should we put the top down? Oh, I was gonna do that. Top down? Yeah. Top down. God, that's been stuck for a while. <laughs> Extra slow. Right, we've just arrived, sports centre just behind us. We're gonna be putting our masks on obviously now and heading in and it's quite busy, but looks very well organised already. Yeah, there's there Guardia are... and there's police and there's people in A lot of people in high vis, in high -vis. Jackets, And that means organisation. We don't know whether really we're gonna do much filming in there or not, but we are gonna head in there. And if we don't see you in there, we'll give you our re instant reaction <laughs> as soon as we're back out. <laughs> so really wish us luck. very very prepared for a queue um, but it looks like we've come at a time where there isn't one that's my noggin I said come at lunchtime apparently yesterday there was uh, there was people queuing for two hours to get in here in the morning feels like we're lucky go in there and hopefully just get it done and get out oh my god my eyes are watering so bad <laughs> that's horrendous oh my, it was in my brain yeah. That was actually in my <laughs> So yeah, we've both just had the swab. Yeah, people aren't lying when they say that goes that goes further than you'd think. It feels as if she scratched the back of my skull. We now just wait for our results. I have a, a number and I wait to see what the results are. We'll see you outside. Right, I've just got my results. They said perfecto. That's good enough for me. One negative test. Now I just wait for Tiffla. Pass the test, aced it. <laughs> That's two negative tests. Right, where are we off to? Well, <laughs> we can go anywhere. <laughs> it's worth pointing out that we don't get like some kind of certificate or anything like that what? from this. There's not a medal. No, so what no. we've just had done there is not enough for us to fly or anything like that. They are just doing mass testing, but good step. Yeah, good work. It. So, all in all fairly harmless unless you count obviously the one foot swab that she <laughs> forced down the back of your throat oh it wasn't pleasant was it it was, that, it, it was yeah no that part is not a nice experience but as we said while we were in there small price to pay to just sort of it was literally five seconds yeah. of discomfort the process was all fairly simple the hardest bit actually was just checking in because we don't speak my, spanish and the things that they needed were our address passport numbers nia uh, and proof that we have health insurance all of which we have there was just sort of a bit of a 
language barrier which made it a little stressful. Language and mask barrier because if you can read lips like she would have known that I was saying the street name but because it's muffled behind yeah. a mask and a screen and her mask then it just takes a bit longer. But other than that very slick they've they've clearly got the process down and our assumption is is that they're just trying to figure out numbers across the whole island by opening up this mass testing areas and, and we've gone and done our bit so yeah. congratulations both negative Nailed it. All right, we're gonna head do a bit of shopping now and then we're gonna take you on a little adventure adventure later adventure time um as promised we are taking you on an adventure and I'll before um before we do how's your how's your nose and throat love i feel violated adventure awaits and that adventure is a little sunset I was gonna say sunrise little sunset hike we are gonna take you to Kalalonga we are going to walk to the top of a hill yeah basically that's it it's very pretty so um we're gonna drive there it takes about five minutes and uh as always uh, we'll take you with us <laughs> <laughs> We were just saying that last time we did this walk we hadn't really been in Ibiza that long I don't feel might not come across right now but I think we're much fitter and more capable don't you agree oh yeah if you're looking if anybody knows Calalonga if you're looking out to sea it's on the right and there's a big old hill slash mountain I'd say it's a mountain Tell us in the comments below, all geography teachers. How many geography teachers work us? I don't know, they're about to tell us in the comments though. You go up there and from there, even though we're on the east of the island, you can see a really amazing sunset on the west. See the little beach over there? Now that's private. The right angle. I can't, I can't oh, it starts to get a bit rocky and a bit treacherous. Definitely sponsored by Gym Clothing Company for this video. You're welcome, boys. You're welcome. Just ocean. Don't. And that is the climb up the mountain next to Kalalonga. And it is, it's up there as one of the best views, I think, in Ibiza. It's very lovely and the sunset's gonna be beautiful. Beautiful. So now we're up here, I think uh, we brought the speaker. We're gonna put some tunes on, nice sunset vibes. <laughs> uh, I believe we've got uh, some hydration in the bag. Hydration. Still not sponsored by Brewdog. And there you go. Sunset. Which way, love? This way. Sunset done. Nailed it. And it instantly gets cold and I'm not dressed for cold. I, must I know, we just realised because it's so beautiful at the moment. 
and it was obviously quite warm getting up the hill. So then when we sat down and it got a little bit chilly, we were like, we do need to remember January. January. Anyway, we're heading back down now, which is sometimes harder than the way up. Yeah. And that's that for today. We've done all sorts, all sorts yes. of things. Anyway, we will see you next time. If there's anything that you'd like to see from us, put it in the comments below and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.